Hello, my name is Jim Ward, and I am a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be discussing the options found in the File Types dialog that is accessed through the SOLIDWORKS PDM Administration Tool. File Types is one category that can be accessed in the PDM Administration Tool. Uh, this category is used to determine whether duplicate file names are permitted in the vault. And by the way, do not allow duplicate file names in the PDM vault, as they do cause a lot of confusion and wasted money. And by default, when you create a new vault, it allows duplicate file name. When you create a new vault, you do need to go in there and change that so that you do not allow duplicate file names. Expanding the category will list all the file types in the vault. Double-clicking a file type will show the dialog file type properties. And this is where an administrator can set when reference files are automatically downloaded, whether this file extension can have duplicates, whether this file type can be used to generate items, and I'll talk more about items later, and this is also where you can set drawing extensions. Here we are in the SOLIDWORKS PDM administration tool, and the category for file types is here, and most people will right-click that and go to Duplicate File Name Settings. By default, this top one is selected when you create a new vault. That's not what you want. You do want to always um, select the middle one. Do not allow duplicate file names in this file vault. Duplicate file names are bad news in a vault as they cause a lot of confusion and wasted money because people will sometimes make the wrong part because of duplicate file name. If you decide that you do have some extensions that you do want to allow duplicate file names, you can select this bottom one, but then you have to list all the file extensions that you do not want to allow duplicate file names for. So it is best to always select the middle one here. Do not allow duplicate file names in the vault. Now, if you expand the file types, it will list all of the file types that are in the vault. So let's concentrate on a SOLIDWORKS file type, the assembly. You can right click and go to properties or you can double click it and it will open up this properties dialog box. List the extension and the file type name. You can't edit those. And then we have some check boxes here. Now three of these determine when to download referenced files. That's on the open file, the preview, and the view file command. The open file we all know, that's when you open up a file. And of course we do need, for SOLIDWORKS files, of course we do need referenced files for that. The preview is what comes automatically in SOLIDWORKS PDM when you select a file and you have the preview tab selected. And the view file command, that's a right click on the file and you will see there is a view file, and then the file, SOLIDWORKS anyway, will open up in eDrawing. Of course, uh, preview and view file don't need the referenced components because these work off of an image that is saved when the SOLIDWORKS file is saved. And so they just uh, open up the image and you don't need the reference files. Of course, when you open up a SOLIDWORKS file, you do need to go get references. Uh, we leave that one unchecked, and then I check the other two, that preview does not need it, and view file command does not need it. The other box here deals with items and item generation. Items are only available in PDM Professional, and most companies don't use items. So what are items? So let me come over here and go to the PDM Administration Guide. You get access to that by going to the Help menu and choosing Administration Guide. It's a terrific guide that tells you all kinds of stuff about how to use SOLIDWORKS PDM. You can do a search, do a control F, and type in items. And you see there's a whole chapter on items, item 14, that talks about items. So items capture a complete product definition. So yeah, they're like a container where you can they collect CAD assembly designs, uh, software, packaging, documentation of the components into a single comprehensive view of the product. So that's what items are designed for. But again, you can come in and look at Chapter 14 to learn more about items, whether or not you can right click it and choose to create a new item. So that's what this item generation is. Now, the last thing here in this dialog is what are the drawing extensions? For this file type. 
It's a SOLIDWORKS file, so of course the extension would be SLDDRW. Now why is that important? By the way, notice they call this a drawing node. Well, it's important when it comes to when it comes to automatically selecting reference components. One of your options, let's go down here to users. You can do set this by group or for all users and go to settings. Go to reference dialog and there's a checkbox here. Select references that are defined as drawing nodes during state change. So if you select this box when you uh, go to do a state change, then the drawing nodes will be automatically selected. They will move then with the parent file. If you don't have that selected, then you do have to decide to go and select the, the drawing to go with the part or assembly. This has been Jim Ward discussing the file types options available for file extensions in SOLIDWORKS PDM Administration Tool. Thank you for watching.